So next week, we've got two indoor events, two of the biggest indoor events to finish the season. Uh, and we're going to the Basel Indoors, or the Swiss Indoors, which is a big event on the European indoor season. Of course, we've got two weeks left of the season. We've got some players that are playing, some big names that are back for the first time in a little bit. Some players are also pulled out, so let's go to the withdrawal list. So the withdrawal list, only one person withdrew, Nick Kyrgios. He is pulled out, he has a knee injury, he's not playing for the rest of the season. He is out for this week and next week. Okay, so here is the draw. You have eight seeds in this one, and no one gets a buy in the first round, which is kind of interesting. So Alcaraz, finally, we get to see him again. He's back, the number one seed. Uh, he's had a mixed run of form since the US Open. He plays Draper in the first round. That is crazy. That is a tough first round. Winner of that match plays either Van der Zanschel or Manorino in the second round. Then you got Cressy versus Stricker. Oh, Stryker. Winner of that match takes on either Baez or the number five seed, Carino Busta, in the second round. So that is a tricky draw for Alcaraz. Draper in the first round is not fun. Now, Draper was suffering from cramp last week, so we'll see if he's better from that. But, uh, man, tough first round for uh, Carlitos. Second section of the draw now, you've got Felix Ogeliasim, the number three seed, taking on Huzla. Uh, FAA in some good form on the indoor courts of late. Uh, winner of that plays either Fikina or Kecmenovic in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Bublik. Winner of that match takes on either Ramos Finales or the number eight seed Musetti in the second round. So interesting bit of the draw here. You know, Musetti's in form, FAA's in form. Uh, both of them playing finals today. So that should be fun. And of course, the winner of this part will play against Alcaraz, possibly in the semifinals. Bottom half of the draw now, you've got Diminor, the number seven seed, taking on Runa. They just played a semifinal in Stockholm. So a little replay there straight away. Winner of that match takes on either Brooksby or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Molchan taking on McDonald. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or the number fourth seed, Chilich in the second round. But yeah, Diminor, Chilich, Runa. I mean, Runa and El uh, Diminor have been in good form, both uh, playing well last week in Stockholm. So interesting to see how this one plays out. And the bottom section of the draw, you've got Roberto Batista Agu, the number six seed, taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Quarter or Murray. What a first round that is. Quarter, he's in a final this week. And Andy Murray, well, we know who he is. That's a huge matchup. Then you've got Nakashima taking on Goffan. Winner of that match takes on either Stan Vavrinka or the number two seed, Casper Rude. Man, what a first round that is. Very tough match for Rude in the first round against Stan the Man. This tournament's very exciting. Very, very exciting. You've got some great matchups potentially there. Uh, and of course, this section of the draw will take on the Oje Aliasim section in the semi final. So Rude versus El uh, Oje Aliasim could be a semi-final. Very fun uh, matches potentially next week in Basel, but who's gonna win the tournament? Let me know down in the comments below. It's hard to not pick FAA. I don't know, this is weird to say, because usually we don't say Felix is someone to bet on to win a tournament because he hasn't won that many, but the last couple of weeks, FAA's been the man, so maybe go with him for this for his you know, possibly a third tournament in the row if he wins today. But uh, let me know in the chat, let me know in the comments below, who do you think's gonna win in Basel this year?